Yo, what's good? What is good, people? What's good? It's time! Fake Pokemon fan, you're right. Because I still have not beaten Diamond Pro. I've only played it once and I have not played it anymore after that. <laughs> you're right, yo, fake Pokemon fan. Hey, hey, you, you got me, Howard. Because I, ha I have not been playing the game at all. <laughs> But how are you doing, Howard? How are you doing, Adam? What's good, you guys? Are you ready? Are you ready to finally finish the Demon Souls saga? It's finally time. I've been playing this for a few months. I don't know, how, how long have I been playing Demon Souls? What, I started in October? Did I start, did I start Demon Souls in October? And I am not a shill. What do you mean, CP9 shill? I haven't shilled for anything yet. <laughs> 17 years at least? Dang. You, you, you're kind of right, actually. I think it has been 17 years since I started Demon Souls. <laughs> oh, Cheerios? Oh. <laughs> you mean... These? <laughs> Cheerios on Crunch Cinnamon? <laughs> well, I'm not going to say I'm sponsored by Cheerios, but... uh. 
you know, you know, good good product placement, you know, you you, you know how it is. So anyway, yeah, cheers. If you want to sponsor me, uh, I definitely appreciate that. Uh, we love uh, we love oat crunch honestly. Let me let me see if I can get a bit of a better uh, ad placement. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> I actually love these. Yo! Thank you for the host, Proto Man. Yo, I appreciate it, dog. What's good? What's good? How are you doing? <laughs> Their payment was that one box? Nah, nah, that was my payment. As a matter of fact, it wasn't just one box, it was three! <laughs> I really like these Cheerios. These are these are some good Cheerios. Like, I, I ain't even going front. I got the bowl. I got the bowl on deck ready to go. You know what it is. As we all know, I also got the milk on deck. Like, bro, I'm about to, I'm probably about to eat some cereal right after the stream, to be honest. Like, right. you know, you know, I stay ready. You know, I stay ready with the cereal. I am a cereal connoisseur. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, I, I, but seriously though, I do like that cereal. That cereal is actually like super duper good. That might be an A tier, maybe S tier cereal. <laughs> I'm here to make sure you don't mess up. Make sure you kill the maiden and join us. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see. We will see. Maybe maybe I wouldn't want to kill the maiden. Maybe maybe I want to let her live. Maybe I'm a good guy after all. This is the guy that likes fruit. Hey, hey. All right. Fruity Pebbles are they're at least bare minimum. If you are low volume, they are B tier. But I would say they're probably A tier. I love Fruity. Fruity Pebbles are so good. If you don't think Fruity Pebbles are at least B tier, you are absolutely incorrect. Absolutely incorrect. Because Fruity Pebbles... Howard, dog, what do you mean they're F tier? What do you mean? What do you mean they're F tier? They're awful? Please. Please, guys. You're hurting my soul. I personally... I personally buy that particular brand shirt. Yeah, they're really good, aren't they, Proto Man? Yeah, yeah, they're good. They instantly turn soggy frame one. You see, that's why they might be at B tier at the lowest low ball. But you're not gonna eat cereal when it's soggy all the time. You wanna eat them, they're gonna be fresh. Any cereal that turns soggy is gonna be like lower than what its original standing was. All right, most of them. I can't really think of too many that, that are good after they're soggy. He will be sleeping on different flavors of Cheerios, not to mention it's healthy, especially for me since I use lactose-free milk with the red label. With the red label, specifically. Yo, I love Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios, obviously the goat. Yo, Cinnamon Cheerios, goater. And then we have the Oat Crunch. That's that's honestly, like, it's moved up the tier list. That, it's probably one of my favorite cereals, honestly. If I want a soggy cereal, I just make oatmeal. Get through a couple of milk. Okay, you know what? Next tier list. Uh, for, I'm gonna make a cereal tier list. I'm gonna make a cereal tier list. That's just what's gonna happen. And you know what? If you guys want to be on the, if you guys want to be on to talk about cereal, hey, we'll have a whole panel to talk about the cereal tier list. But I am doing a cereal tier list next week. That that is set in stone. I'm gonna get the whole thing set up. I'm I'm getting the cereal on there. Yes, I'm gonna put in the Discord. Uh, if you got uh, what cereal you guys want to see on there. I'm gonna have a whole bunch. I wanna see what your guy what you guys think should be on there as well. I am not nearly passionate about cereal. Hey, that's totally fine. You don't have to be on the panel. But if you were, you could be. Hey, I will invite anybody on the panel if they want to talk about cereal. <laughs> if you want to talk about cereal. But uh I, I haven't had cereal for breakfast in years. You have for I have cereal at night. After I do my push-ups and setups, I have a bowl of cereal. <laughs> that, that, that's what I usually do. All right, let's see. Okay, let's move. Let's move to this. Hey guys, you got you guys remember this game? The game we've been working on for probably two months at this point. No, it's got to be at least like three months, right? Like it's been a while. It's been a while since we started this game, and it's finally coming to an end. And I've done it. Uh, cereal is the only things America leads in these days. <laughs> Are we? Does anybody lead in, in good cereal? Like, I didn't know that was a thing. I do not know why every time I'm trying to watch you, I get buffering, which is weird because I have 5G signal. My strength is extremely good. You had it buffers every 15 seconds or so. So, 
I don't think that's actually like anything to do with your connection. I just think Twitch Mobile is just really not good. Twitch Mobile is just really, really bad in general. So I don't think it's you. And that's because it's dessert for breakfast. True, honestly. Wait, why am I here? Wait, what, what's... Why am I here? Well, whatever. I guess I could bring the resolution down a little bit. And, uh, uh, let, let me make sure I get off. Uh, <laughs> uh, now a bit that, uh, that might fix, but I find it extremely strange that I just can't watch that buffering. Yeah, I don't think, I don't think it's you. I think it's, I just think it's the Twitch app. <laughs> I mean, most of the world cereal is just like hat or wheat. Not much sugar. Ugh. Dang, I get. I guess. I guess America is kind of leading in cereal. Then, oh, that that sounds just. That just sounds sad. Oh, oh. Also, I did one thing off off stream. I got the magic sword, and that, that, that's pretty hype. But that's about it. <laughs> hey man, I watched a stream in New Hampshire with one bar of three G. <laughs> but was it was it really watchable though, Adam? Was it? <laughs> was it was it really watchable all right we'll get we'll get some of those we'll get some of those all right we are indebted to you but you fight on our behalf. all right i think i i think we're wait what wait why did i lose wait why am i losing health hey what, what's going on what's going on oh, 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 oh. I, don't, I don't like that i don't i don't like this i'm losing health and i i don't know why oh it's because of the sword oh, okay i think it's because of the sword actually uh, off stream, uh, I actually wasn't grinding off stream. I just wanted to just try and do one of the white things, the, like the white, pure white places. And I can only do one, so which is uh oh, oh yeah, which is oh wait, what? Oh, is that pure white now too? Oh, oh, I can actually do another pure white thing, but do I want to? Nah, nah, it's probably fine. No, I couldn't see anything. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. All right, guys, it's time. You know what? Actually, I'm, I'm gonna do this. Descend below the Nexus. That actually makes more sense. <sighs> Alright, I don't know if this is gonna take a whole bunch of times to finish, but I say it's finally time. We had we had a lot of fun with this, guys. There was a, a lot of souls to be had. Uh I think it was super cool. This game, uh, I really didn't think I'd be able to beat this Souls game. Uh with as little anxiety as I had, it was very, it was very, very fun. But now, I think the time is over, and let's reflect on how good I am at being a gamer. I think I beat at least more than half the bosses without, you know, doing it more than one time. Let us proceed below to its lair. All right, let's proceed. Is she gonna follow me, or not? Nah? Okay, she's not gonna follow me. So let's see. What what lies below in this decrepit old place? Hmm. I I wonder she's giving me bad vibe. Yeah, she she probably is bad, right? Kill her? Well, I mean I probably want to kill her right now, right? I probably wanna like, you know wait. Wait, wait, wait a second to kill her. Uh, whoa, 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 actually, should I, should I kill her before I fight this guy? You, you think she'll probably start trying to fight me, like, before, before I start fighting this guy? Oh, okay, yeah, I should probably put up my shield. It's like I've forgotten all my lessons. Always make sure to have up your shield. What, what's going on? Okay. You have been chosen by the old one. Uh. Do you seek the everlasting human souls? Or as the monumental lion Whatever your choice, you are our first visitor. May you be welcome here. Okay. She literally dragged her against her, so you could kill her, or you could sue her. I mean, I don't know about the judicial system that they have going on here in the Souls realm, but I would imagine it's not too robust. As a matter of fact, I don't even know if they have an option for me to do that. Okay. For yourself, the pain and suffering that fills this world. Is this? But God is, merciful, is this the boss? The old one. Wait, what? Poison to poison. 
Is he? Oh, okay. Wait, wait, wait. Is th is this the boss? Wait, what? Uh Don't you understand? No one wishes to go on. Was that? Wait, what? Uh Oh, exceeds carrying capacity? All right, well, I will I will remove something from my inventory. What? Ooh. Ooh, this one looks kind of cool. Wait, what? I can't Wait, what, what why can't I wear it? What do I need? Uh What wait, what what's what stats do I need for this? Oh, okay. I need Oh, I don't have any faith. Okay, that that that's fine. Wait, what? You shouldn't have saved just him? What do you mean saved? I just I just killed him. What do you mean? Wait, okay, I'm actually gonna be late. Am I messing something up right here? <laughs> what do you what do you mean I shouldn't okay Z, what do you mean I shouldn't have just saved him? Like I just I just killed him, right? So like that means that was that was it. Or is there is there something else that I'm missing? Should I do something before I walk for Well alright, I guess I'm walking forward. Oh, okay, alright, it's a... Uh... I, I literally didn't know. I literally didn't know what what he what he is like. I've never played this before. Wait, wait, was that the end? Wait, what? Okay. And you want me you, you you want me to kill her? Uh So 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 you, so you you want you want me to just kill her now or you want me to talk to her first? Is that You didn't do anything wrong. It's just the real final boss is the other guy with the sword. Oh, that was the real final boss? What the freak is all this then? Yo, I killed him last stream. What? <laughs> oh, no. Okay. Three minute finale? Okay. All right, there, there's no way I could have known, right? Like, this, this whole game has given me nothing but like... Okay, all right, that's actually not even true. But I would have figured the last boss would have been like a crazy thing, right? Well, you know what? We're gonna do. We're gonna do a poll. Kill her now. Okay. Ah! <laughs> she was nothing but. N oh! I'm speed running the stream. Okay. All right. <laughs> senses a new and powerful demon by its side, and before long. The world will be engulfed by the deep fog. <laughs> the, the curb stomp seemed a little out of pocket. You are absolutely right. That was completely unnecessary. Trust me, the first time you play the game, you always want to kill her to get the redstone, which allows you to set up fight clubs and things like that. We dead space now? Dog! Wait, that was the end? Oh, man, I could have done this last stream! I didn't, I didn't know. I did not know that the game would end like this. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yo, yo, thank you, hey. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Yes, yes, thank you. 
Oh, uh, stream, stream's not over yet. We got about uh, an hour 40. Uh, I was definitely planning for this to be about an hour, though. <laughs> I was like, oh, man, it's going to be like a super hard boss fight. Like, I'm going to have to... <laughs> Okay, so I knew this is gonna be short. What do you mean you know it's gonna be short? <laughs> beat this pizza. I haven't played beat this P yet. I haven't even beaten it. What do you mean? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Dan, you're gonna be short. You let me do this. You literally did something on the live stream. What you mean, Doc? The Demon Soul uh the Demon Soul series is not a series that you play one time. And that's it. You're supposed to play again, and you notice the difference, the difference in the difficulty. However, you're supposed to be making uh, different builds as well. But each time you beat the game, you want to make sure you kill her first. You also don't want to get your level too high, or you'll take yourself out of the meta. I think on this run, I got to level 80 something. So it was pretty high. Oh, in memory of Takeshi Kaji. Kaji san, your career. Oh. That's so nice. <laughs> it's been beat it now. I it. Wait, can I? Sp I, I can speed run it. What? There's like a 37 speed a uh, speed run of a uh, Pokemon Pearl, right? I could probably do it. I saw where you ended and knew you're gonna run into this problem, Dan. Dan, you sat. Dan, you literally sat there. Oh, in memory of Andrew O'Neill. You literally sat here, watched me get to this point, and said. Yeah, he's gonna run into this problem next stream. Oh, <laughs> I thought it was gonna be a really big boss fight. Okay, you know what? It's fine though. It's fine because now this actually gives me some time to actually talk about the game. Um, yeah, let me let, let, let me go ahead and get some thoughts about the game. So let's go, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and back. Wait, can, can I can I just skip this? I can just skip this. Okay, for, for, first, first, let me skip this. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. I get, I get, I guess it just takes you back to the beginning of the game. All right, cool. Uh, yeah, I can't level up anymore, so that's fine. Right? Because, uh, the old maiden is gone. Uh, example, once the credits are done, try to try to get to the first boss game. You should be able to do it with no problem with your skill, technically. Not to mention, there's a bunch of magic spells you didn't get to experience. But I would make a new character for that, and that's based on your uh, around magic. Because once you go past level 130, you won't really find people. Candy plays... Uh, Candy says play Fado Morgana next. No, the maiden is not gone. The game starts over, but there are a little... Things are a little different. You shall see. Oh uh, well, actually, uh, since si since I beat the main game the first time, uh, I think. Wait, what, what's what's going on with that? I think I think we'd be done with Demon Souls for for a little bit, if anything, uh, because I did want to start the new game, but I think I will be able to start that today. So you know what? Hey, let's go. Let's let's go. Let's go ahead and talk for a bit. So. Uh, um, yeah, definitely was not expecting to beat the game uh, right now, actually. <laughs> was definitely planning on uh, beating the game in a few days or like today, but in like a few like hour or whatever. But this is fine. Uh, so, you know, what? let's go ahead and talk. Let's go ahead and talk about Demon Souls for a bit. Um, so I guess I'll start from the beginning. So when I first started the game, Everything was just so hard. Literally everything. The be those first beginning guys, like when you start off at like the tower or whatever, they were very, very difficult. If you guys remember my first two streams, which were two hours each, I actually spent two hours each time in those be in that beginning area. I don't think I actually got past the stairs the first day either. Like, do you, do you guys remember that if you were here for that? So that was a uh, that was very very hard. <laughs> uh, but then as I started getting past that first little bit, I did get a lot better. I understood the mechanics more. 
I do feel like when you're starting off the game, there is a very steep curve. Like if most games are like are like this and do and go up like this, Demon Souls is like this. <laughs> Demon Souls, it just straight up just goes just the straight vertical. It's actually very hard. Those beginning guys are no joke. Uh, but then, but then as I got past those first guys, it started getting a little easier. And I was able to fight the knight that was way above my level, but I was able to actually beat him, and that felt good. Uh, but I did notice something. The very first boss of the area was not hard. That's something I do want to say about this this game. There were only certain bosses that were hard. But the main thing that was difficult was getting through the area to get to the bosses because the enemies were pretty strong and like hefty and so they made it difficult so the actual road to the boss was harder than the boss most of the time um yeah the first roadblock was the uh the, the shield the tower knight or whatever he has like the, the giant shield he literally like just sets a shield on you and he's like one shot you then he can like stab you or whatever yeah he was he was hard uh <laughs> it took me definitely a few times to beat him but then i feel like once you once you beat him you have a pretty good understanding of the mechanics and know how to like dodge and things like that um but yeah, their progression is kind of weird because they want you to they want you to go through like each world in kind of sporadically, right? Because like you start off in world one, then you want to like go to world two, then you kind of want to go to world three, then world four, then world five. But then after that, you want to do like you can't you can't finish off like one three because you need to get something from from two from two three or whatever. Like that's like the world and then like the level in the world. And so they kind of wanted you to like jump around a little bit, which I thought was pretty cool to be honest. Um, there are some le so <laughs> there are some levels that did get really really hard, like level five over the poison swamp. You definitely probably want to do that last because poison is really hard to deal with if you don't have the the health. Also, like the big swamp goblins are very difficult to deal with. They're very difficult to deal with, but like they're they're fine whatever they're okay uh let's see what else oh something i don't think the game really talked about at all actually was tendency i kind of have a problem with the tendency scale in this game because of how they don't explain it and how absolutely rocked you can get by the game so <laughs> when you're playing this game you should never really have a full bar of health I have learned because that means you're alive and if you're alive that means you can die and if you can die that means you lose tendency in this game <laughs> see that depends on how you play if you know what weapon you want to go you want to go for specifically the swamp is the second or third place I go well as for somebody who knew nothing about the game uh, I have no knowledge of any weapons really that's very hard for me that was very very difficult for me to go there so I had literally zero knowledge and so I guess that's the perspective that I'm going from since this is my first Souls game ever. <laughs> uh, because when you go to the swamp, and I hate that I did not get to watch the gameplay to tell you to go back. That's how you get the best shield in the game when you go back to that area. After beating it the first time, you'll fight him as a red phantom and get his shield. Well, hey, that's fine because uh, to be honest, I didn't really need it. <laughs> I really didn't even need it, apparently. Uh, so something, oh yeah. Uh, about, uh, more, more on the tendency so one problem that I had when I got to world 4 it was the world with like all the skeletons or whatever the the rolling skeleton boys that are like that are doing all this or whatever they kind of move like you uh, I kept using stone of ephemeral eyes to get health not realizing that it was like destroying me in that world and so then when I left and came back one day there was just a really hard uh a uh, red uh black black demon or whatever there and he was destroying me i literally couldn't get past that part like it was it was essentially locked off to me because i could not beat it and even when i got him down low he would just get health and i couldn't really find any one shot at me so there was really no hope for me on that level to be honest um so i had to i had to get stronger everywhere else 
before I could go back there and finally beat that level. And to be honest, if I didn't look up like what was going on, I could have easily messed up all of the worlds and made it to where I couldn't get past them because I would have got stopped by some black demon at some point, probably. Maybe not all of them, but at least most of them. Mm. Um, I feel like because I didn't really understand the tendency thing, I kind of missed out on a lot of the uh, important things I could have done because I was just I was just using some ephemeral eyes and dying and not realizing that I was like killing my uh, my tendency. So I could have had pure white in a lot of the other places would have gave me access to different events that I think would have been really cool. But that's fine. I guess I guess in the end because I didn't mess myself up. But that is it's kind of messed up to be honest. Um, now as for the bosses, uh, the bosses were they were varied. I didn't really feel super challenged by the bosses uh the first so if i go through all of the worlds in um in demon souls or whatever uh the first boss was like in the world one was like these, this conglomerate of shields or whatever um i beat them they weren't hard they were just kind of annoying but i did feel good about beating them uh then after that was the tower knight uh, Tower Knight was hard. He was a hard boss, and I, I liked his design. Uh, it was like, I think that was a good introductory to hard bosses of the game. I think that's, I, I think that was a good way to show that. Um, the third boss there was the Adjudicator. I love the Adjudicator. He was super duper cool. And when you, uh, if you, if you free one of the other guys, you can have somebody help you, which I think, which I think is a really cool, because it's like, kind of like building the world to show that, like, the game, like, has people that can help you in the game as you do good deeds, which is cool. I like that. I did make the fight a little too easy, but it, it gained it gained like it gained some cool stuff in other ways, which I think is fine. Um, and then the the final boss of that world, the King Old King Allen, he was a very good boss. Uh, he was very very good. I definitely could have beat him before I grinded, but I got way too tilted. He had a lot of cool moves. Uh, he had he had range attacks. He can get to you from the other side of the field really quickly. He has a super strong uh, AOE. Uh, he gets more aggressive as you fight him, but I think that's pretty much all bosses. Uh, he spell he can also just take your soul level away. Honestly, I think that's kind of BS, but it, w it did make me more on guard. <laughs> so take that for what you will. Uh, the area itself was cool. You, how you have to fight his guards before you get to him. I thought that was kind of cool. It made the area a lot more difficult but that's a good thing that's how the game should be going into a final level so yeah honestly all the bosses in world one were pretty good except maybe the first one uh then the second world um whatever like the underground place uh who was the first boss who was the first who was the first boss of this world he was like what was the first boss of that world I actually don't need, I I actually really don't remember what the first boss of that world was. Do you do you remember what the first boss of that world was, uh Proto Man? Let's see. It was like uh let me, let me let me see if I can find it. Oh, it was the spider. Okay, so the spider was actually a pretty good boss. Um he forces you to go all the way back and keep going up to him and then he sets the world ablaze and so you have to not get hurt because there's really no way to deal with that to be honest and when you get close to him he has really long range attacks and it's kind of hard to fight him uh but, you know it tests your skills and like how to deal with like range attacks he shoots fire at you and so and he also shoots sticky stuff at you and, and it's just the whole thing but when you get through it you feel really good uh then the next boss was uh flame lurker oh my god flame lurker <laughs> flame lurker was really really good he was a strong boss he didn't have any ranged attacks but he was really fast really agile and he didn't really function as all the other bosses up until that point because all the other bosses were slow up until this point um and that made him much more difficult to deal with. Also, he did fire damage, so he took just a little bit more damage. There was a little bit of lava on his level. 
So that was hard to deal with. But you did feel real good when you beat him. So yeah. Yeah, that was a that was a good boss. That was a boss that I would expect from a, from a Souls game. Then the final boss was the dragon. Uh, honestly, he was just more annoying. Um, he, he was honestly just annoying. Because, like, once you finally got, you know, shoot him with those two cannons, then you just hit his hit his chinny chin chin, and then you just, you just beat him like that. He was, like, a boss. I'm not really sure what the significance was of that. Uh, they could have done more. I would have preferred just, like, fight him as a dragon, maybe. But whatever, I guess. Cool spectacle, but not really a great boss in my opinion. Uh, then the next world was the like uh, the world with, like all the all the prison cells. Um, this world was kind of kind of annoying to be honest, uh, as a as as a whole. And then when you got to the first boss, which was the maiden. Is that who the first boss was? Yeah, it was like a, it was like a maiden. She shot magic. Uh, good boss. Uh, she multiplied over the, all over the place. She shot, she shot you with rain spells, and you had to like guess which one was the real her and keep hitting her. But you also have to watch out for the other ones hitting you as you're hitting her. So it was kind of like, uh, do you want it to go to her or do you want to take out the rest of the rest of the shadow clones or whatever before you get to her? Uh, very, very. Uh, it was nerve wracking because you don't want to go back to her and fight her again because it's just kind of annoying getting to her in the first place. Uh, then you fight, uh, oh yeah, the, um, the man-eaters or whatever, like the, the flying gargoyle beast. That was the first two boss in the game. Honestly, really the only dual boss in the game. Uh, I feel like they would have been way harder for me if I didn't super grind. <laughs> but, uh, even still, they were kind of, they were still kind of scary to be honest, because there was two of them. In dealing with two, and two like, strong, like, kind of faster enemies... It's not easy to deal with, um, but they, but they were good because they also they also could like fly so you can cheese them by pushing them off the stage. Cool, good, I like that. Um, and then after that you fight. Uh, who do you who do you fight after that? Oh yeah, how do you do that? Then you have to fight a chosen champion or whatever. They like they like get another person to fight you. But when you grind up a whole lot, you just kind of kill them. So in concept, it was really cool. But in reality, it was kind of really easy. It really didn't pose any kind of challenge. But the concept itself was really cool, and I can applaud that, I guess. They were hard only because they can knock you off the level easily. True, they could. But like, well, the, those other two guys, but they didn't. But they didn't. But they had the possibility, which was scary. <laughs> um then uh the fourth world <laughs> yeah i didn't realize it would be like that then the fourth world uh this world was actually like annoying and cool at the same time the skeletons were just really hard to deal with the flying enemies were dumb and they had a mini boss uh because yeah they had the um the giant like i don't like the lesser demon or something like that but it was like really big and really intimidating to deal with to be honest uh he wasn't a boss and but also like the little flying guys were flying around they could hurt you too which was annoying but they were fine uh so yeah cool mini boss and then the first actual boss was this weird golden guy where you can only like hit him on the top of the head and he was like he was weird he was the first boss like that, and there was kind of no indication that you had to hit just his head, but I mean, I figured it out, so I guess it wasn't too bad. Um, yeah. Uh, I dare you to continue the first boss on your current playthrough. Uh, second character right now and try to get to the Tower Knight without dying. Or if you get invaded while you're alive, see the difference in level gap, or not even level gap, as much as it is how people focus on their stats appropriately. You know what? I think I might try that after I'm done talking about the game. I, I might give that a try. G give me a second to think about that one, though. Um, yeah. Then the second boss was the um, the old something. I cannot remember his name. The old monk. I think that was his name. Yeah, he was. He was a good boss. 
He was more melee focused, but he had he had an AOE attack. Uh, he was kind of fast, really long sword, could hit through stone or something. Really cool mechanic where he doesn't hear you. If he doesn't hear you, he doesn't move, which I thought was really cool. That even though I didn't notice it at first, uh, I liked that. I liked that boss. That was a, that was a cool mechanic for a boss. He was good. Uh, and then after that, you fight the giant storm thing or whatever. Uh, honestly, that fight would have not been cool if I didn't get the storm sword. The storm sword made it super sick. That was the first uh, one where they gave you like a really good, cool weapon to do stuff with. That was like super different, and I thought that was, I thought that was super cool and super dope. You could like ooh, storm sword him out of the air. That was a one. That was a one. I will admit. Uh yeah. And then on the last one, the plague world. Uh, plague world itself, okay. Uh, really annoying, kind of hard to deal with. Uh, last place, fall off and die. Uh, the first boss was elite. Some leeches. Uh, honestly, it was really easy. Uh, I really wasn't like too worried about it. I don't. I'm not really sure what like his gimmick was. I mean, I mean, like I know it was leeches and they were everywhere, but they didn't really do anything. So that was a whatever boss. Uh, then the second one was that um. What's it called? It was like a giant beehive kind of thing. He shot bees at you, but he didn't really do anything. He was kind of lame too, to be honest. Honestly, all the bosses here in the um in the in the fifth world with the plate with the poison swamp, uh, they were all kind of lame. Um, even the last one, I mean, they didn't really do anything either. It was it was all pretty lame. I wasn't really enthralled by that whole fifth world. And then the final boss, honestly, the weakest part of the game. It was. It, it, it really was nothing. Uh, um, I'm very, very... I'm, I'm, actually, I'm honestly really disappointed by the way the game ended. Uh, I did not... I, I wanted the boss fight to be more fulfilling. Uh, when I get to a game, I want to deal with some kind of finality. Uh, the game didn't really set up that it wouldn't be anything, really. It kind of made it seem like there would be something more, but I guess maybe it was more lore and story-based, but I, was, I really wasn't like in there i guess and i guess the real final boss was king allen the old one or whatever where he's shooting like the wind stuff he was really good i should have saved him for well i did save him for last but i should have used him as like the final boss title clickbait but you know it's fine allen yeah allen my dude <laughs> uh some of those bosses especially for the one uh you uh for the one uh there you're going for this shield which means you will go there early, Demon Souls, and most of the dark, uh, dark series of games are about PvP. Once you've gone through the game and you understand the mechanics, the grind to get your favorite weapons and armor is what is what it becomes. Uh, if you had a uh, that if you had messed with that boss early on, uh, but he'd have been extremely tough. But by the time you got there, uh, nothing for you. But by the time you got there, nothing for you. Uh, that was kind of hard to read, but that was fine. But overall for Demon Souls, uh, if I had to say, even though I haven't played any other ones, this is probably the easiest Souls game, like just like going through the game itself, honestly. But I do think uh, it is still hard. It is still a hard game and <laughs> uh, it can be very unforgiving. As for my first Souls game, I will say I will play other souls game i will do dark dark souls one i will do bloodborne i'll probably do two and three and i'm gonna finish sekiro i'm going to do them all i do i do think i like the soul series i do think i like it that's what <laughs> the fought the boss <laughs> that's really funny <laughs> yeah so overall this game if i had to give it a score Probably an 80 or an 85. Honestly, if, if there was like a really good final body, it would shoot up to a 90, to be honest. Sekiro is the one with the hardest bosses. <sighs> Sekiro is probably the hardest because of the mechanic that the game like relies on. You have to like, you know, stun them first and then you can like finally get a stab. And it's just, it's just hard because our stun bar goes down really slow. It's just the whole thing. But I do have Sekiro, and it is a fun game. Ah, uh, but yeah, Demon Souls.
complete. Now what? Now what did you mention? You said uh. uh playthrough. On your current playthrough to character right now, try and get to the Tower Knight without dying. Or if you get invaded while you're alive, see the difference in level gap. Or not even level gap, as much as people focus on their stats appropriately. You know what? He's not beating Sekiro. Even I could not beat that one or have not beat it yet, which I'm kind of ashamed of. Hold on, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on. Whoops. Uh, let's see, snipping tool. Where is the snipping tool? Hold on. Oops. Okay, here, here, here we go. Hold on, hold on one second. Or actually, actually, I, I I could do this. Hold, hold on, hold on, hold on one second, guys. Hold on one second. Window capture. Source. Uh. Uh. Oh, where is it? Window capture. I can't, I can't, I can't do it. I can't, I can't figure it out. Oh, okay. All right. All right. I, I figured it out. I figured it out. I'm good. I'm good now. Here we go. So we're going to do this. We're going to do window capture. We're going to add a source. Here we go. Some tool. So, uh, Proto Man says, uh, he's not beating Sekiro. Even I cannot beat that one or have not beat it, which I'm ashamed of. I'm going to remember this quote right here. And when I beat Sekiro on stream, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna need you to hold that L. I, I'm gonna need you to hold that. I, I'm gonna remember, I'm gonna remember that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. Yo, what's up incarcerated dreams? How many pushups have you done so far? <laughs> well, you know what? That's actually a great question. I'm pretty sure I have done at least like over the to over the time of my streams before I beat the game, I did at least 600. I'll see if I can go back to my streams and get an exact number, but I will have done at least 600 something push-ups. You guys needed to add a death counter. I didn't think about it. Well, actually, my push-up counter is my death counter technically. Because I go up by 10 for every death. So I technically did have a death counter. <laughs> and yeah, Incarcerated Dreams, I just beat the game, technically. But you know, I am about to do a challenge that Proto Man uh, told me to try. Uh, he said to try and get to the uh, the Tower Knight on my current character. And you know what? I think I'll give that a try right now, just to see how far I've come. Honestly, I'll, 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 I'll give it a shot. Hey, yo, thank you so much for the bits, Incarcerated Dreams, yo, thank you so much, man, I appreciate it, yes, it was, it was very, very difficult, it was very, very hard to get through this, uh, and honestly, I'm very, very proud, uh, <laughs> I'm very, very proud of how, of how, of how I've done, <laughs> uh, I don't think you can cheese secure by overleveling, uh, but he should do at least one set of push-ups as a send-off. You know what, Howard? You might be right about that. <laughs> I think it's genuine. Yeah, uh, Sekiro is genuinely hard. Yes, I know. I, I actually have the game. I've, I've actually already started it. And I am, in fact, stuck somewhere. Uh, 
Hey, yo, thanks for following Incarcerated Dreams. Yo, I appreciate it, dog. Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> ah, look, look, look at, look at the, whoa. Uh, hmm. These guys were kind of, <laughs> these guys are kind of stronger than they were before. <laughs> <laughs> These guys are kind of stronger, bro. Bro, what, what do you mean? Why are you placing bets that I'm gonna die? There's, there's no shot I'm dying. There's literally zero shot that I'm gonna die. I'm just too strong. Oh wait, wait. Let me, let me put on, let me put on my, uh, my soul, my souls playlist for, for one time for the one time. One time for the one time. Here we go. Uh, yep. Yeah, what 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 makes you think what makes you think think I'm gonna die? These guys are honestly uh really really weak. Wait wait how, how much how much damage do they do to me though? Wait I'm, see I'm, I'm gonna take it see how much damage they do. Oh they are definitely stronger. Uh. Okay so I guess when you do a new game plus they get stronger. I guess that makes sense though, right? <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Dope prediction. Adam. Adam, can you set up a prediction? Will I die before I get to the tower night? If you if you, if you if you can't set up the prediction, let me know. Oh, it's been set up? Oh! <laughs> oh wow, that was that was so fast, Adam. <laughs> bro, bro, there, there's there's literally no shot I die. If, if you if you guys want to make some easy points, hey, j j just go just go ahead and bet on your boy surviving. It's literally free money. Make sure your password is turned off as well. All right, all right. Password password requirement is off. <laughs> password requirement is off. So I don't give a freak about these guys. <laughs> it's got a minute left. Beautiful. Th thank you, Adam. <laughs> It's 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 what the people wanted. They they, they want to see your boy succeed, of course. Oh. I legit did not even see him. Okay, yep. I've grinded I've grinded too much. They're not strong enough to deal with me. Okay, hold hold on hold on a second. <laughs> Let, let, let me go ahead and not mess around and actually die. <laughs> start start messing around too much, I'll end up dying. <laughs> oh wait, also, the dragon can probably one-shot me, right? Still? I mean, that would be- Oh, I forgot about that. God dang it. <laughs> I fell all the way down here. Cool. Lurk, bro. Nah, nah, nah. We we ain't lurking out here. All right. This all all of this, all this is for is for the people to see. Okay. Oh wait. I wonder. I wonder if that guy's gonna be hard to kill. Probably not. Oh wait. No. 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 I won't. Oh yeah. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can't get to the tower knight. Never mind. Okay, we kill we kill them. Uh, I believe this is the way I go next, right? I think this is the way I go. All right, cool. We we kill him. Yeah, I I think this is the way I go next. I, I actually can't remember. 
Oh yeah, it's that guy! How did I forget about this guy? Hey, what's good? What's good, homie? That was a bold leap. A surprise indeed. Well, now that you are here, pray thee, fend off these dreglings. <laughs> and get the item first. Nope, I did not remember that. <laughs> I, I actually... Uh-oh. I... <laughs> I, I really, I really need to stop messing around because I, I, I really do think. Oh, oh no! Oh no! Oh no! I'm about, I'm, I'm about to mess around and think I'm Superman and think I can do it all and then die. Hey, should I, should, should I kill this guy? You guys think this guy deserves to live? My thanks. I am. Oh, brass telescope. This game. Oh. Oops. My my bad, my bad. Okay, so we're gonna. Yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good out here. Oh, also, guys, so, so, something else I wanted to talk about. Have you guys seen the panda controller? Have you have you guys seen that? The panda controller looks so good. Oh, you haven't? Okay, you know what? Yeah, yeah, like the panda panda global. They are they are making a GameCube controller. If you have not seen it, I I will I will show it to you. Okay, let me let me go let, let, me, let me go up there and kill the and kill this guy, kill those guys. Okay, so wait, am I supposed to go over here or am I supposed to go up there? I think I think I was supposed to go up there, right? Okay, we we kill we kill those guys. Let's see. Please, we kill we kill that guy. Ah. Wow, he really didn't die. This guy, I hate this guy. Uh, but it keeps falling off. You need to turn around, go all the way back to the stairs, go back down to the corridor. Okay. Also, what's your uh soul level? Uh. <laughs> oh, actually, my soul level is ninety-one. <laughs> uh, yep. Yep, it's a uh, it's it's ninety one. <laughs> I, I if I would have died to those boulders, I would have been so mad. You you guys don't understand how mad I would have been if I would have died to some boulders. What? He's still alive? How did they live? Yeah, they 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 have they have one point two already. It's actually insane. How far, like, how many, uh, how many backers they have and how quick of a time it's been. Or how short of a time it's been. Like, it's, it's, it's actually, like, like, completely insane. I, I'm so proud and I'm so happy and I definitely backed them already. Like, it, it's already backed. Like, I'm, 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 I'm in there. Uh. Where is the dragon? There it is. Uh-oh. Okay, I'm just gonna back up. Okay, cool. I'm not gonna lie, it looks ugly. You, you, you think it looks ugly? Oh, okay, I I thought I thought it looked like a wave bird controller, 
And I like the Wave Bird controller. <laughs> so, you know, for me, for me, it, lo it looks pretty good, to be honest. I thought it looked pretty good. Uh, and definitely with how, like, modifiable it is, it's amazing. Yo, what's good, Joseph G? Yo, how's it going, my guy? Yo, hey, we, we, are, we beat the game, but now we're just trying to see how I can speed run to the, um, to the Tower Knight. And then, and then I'm gonna beat the Tower Knight, and it's gonna be it's gonna be so easy. But unfortunately, I do think I can get one shot. So we're gonna try not to get one shot. You said the way the way bird is charmingly ugly. No, no, what, the way bird isn't ugly. Okay, maybe may, may, maybe it is slightly ugly the way bird, but but I I love it. I love it all the same. Hey, please, please. I love the way bird all the same. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay. Looks like they put a lot of thought into it with the feature. I know, right? They they re they really thought of just about everything. I don't think there's anything that they missed that's like super important in the controller. As of as of now, does he have anything that I would that I would even want? Nope. All right. Like, they have they have literally just about everything. I can't I can't think of anything that they're that they're missing too. I can't think of anything that they're that they're missing. At least in my mind, they they thought about competitiveness. They thought about just how you hold the controller just in general man okay so he said uh doing well finished inscription uh started return of obra did you start playing monster Hunter world Summit? hey yo you're still playing monster Hunter world yo monster Hunter is still it's just so good it's just so so good the first item the Xbox Elite controllers are like 150. You're right. They the Xbox Elite controller the Xbox Elite controllers were 150. Uh, it's a good thing I was never super into the Elite to the Elite controllers. So uh, it, that that part's never affected me none. And GameCube controllers just like in general are just like super expensive just like in general. So it's it's good seeing that they have like a a more affordable controller. For us smashers, because you know we're poor. <laughs> so that's that's honestly super duper good. I wish it was bigger. The GCC is a bit small for my hands. Uh, it looks like the uh, the Panda Global controller is a bit bigger, uh, like slightly bigger. So it'll probably fit better in your hands, if anything. Um. Also, wait, wait, where am I going again? I go I go down here, right? Like I go down I go down these stairs. And then I and then I go over here, right? Wait, I, honestly, I, I really can't remember where I was supposed to go. I believe it's the other way. Okay, when you say when you say other way, do you mean like that was a really delayed souls? Do you mean like up here? Oh wait, is it in here? Oh wait, I think it's in here actually. Yep, 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 yep. I think it I think it's in here. Right? Or am am I wrong? <laughs> stupid. Oh! I'm the stupid one. Uh, then I can, uh, I can open this door, right? Okay. I cut that chain, which was cool. Uh, also, uh, I'm pretty sure, uh, Panda is not making, like, any crazy margins on these controllers. Because because they're selling them for so cheap, uh, they 
they they really focus on the player first with these controllers and i think that's i think that's super cool and if they didn't have like all the goodwill in the world before they definitely have it now uh every i think every smash player should invest in this controller i i really do e e even if you're not a smash player this controller just, just honestly just looks really good to me in general so i think you should just get it anyway Wait, was it was it not over here uh-oh <laughs> uh-oh i'm lost <laughs> oops because yeah i went i went over here i don't want to fall down there that's definitely death uh, if i go over here there's there's nothing over here right Oh god, here we go. Here we here we, here we go with this again. Oh there's a black phantom here. <laughs> okay. Uh there's somebody here. I don't know where he is though. Oh, uh, that's probably a good thing. Hopefully I just never see him. Or does he spawn near me? I hope not though. I hope I hope he doesn't I hope he spawns somewhere completely different and he actually just never finds me. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. I was entirely enth enthused about the Sponge Tournament series PG Nest with Nintendo, but I'm not all upset about it. Uh I think I think everybody is uh very cautious about it. Uh, I think I think it's totally fair to be uh, to be cautious about this uh, this controller. I'm sorry, uh, the sponsorship with Nintendo, uh, because honestly, Nintendo has not Nintendo has not inspired any confidence. You know what? We're 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 we're, we're about to fight. Oh, hey hey dog hey 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 hey. If you, if you could just if you could just chill out, please. <laughs> Oh, freak. What? I was literally not even up there anymore. Trash. Trash. <laughs> okay so i i actually kind of want to call bs on that because i rolled backwards on the stairs and i literally wasn't even there anymore and he killed me so i kind of feel some kind of way about that like i i ain't even gonna lie i feel some kind of way about that but since i died <laughs> sure i'm better than trusting that code true true that is that is absolutely true my fault yeah you're right you're right you know what I'll, I'll i'll take i'll take my death it's not like i read the you know the actual like area where i was at so i could avoid that actual hit you know i definitely didn't do that you know obviously <laughs> okay well you know what with that i will say i have invested and uh i will try to go to the tower night another time uh so you so you got me you got me <laughs> i think i think what i want to do right now is let's go, let, let, let's go ahead and take a look at the uh the panda controller since uh some of you might not know uh what that what that is uh let me go ahead bds no we're not playing bdsp <laughs> we're not Bro, okay, the game the game literally cheated. Hey, hey. I still I, I'm gonna remember this forever. But that's not what we're looking at right now. 
let's see. Okay, we're gonna do we're gonna do this. Then we're gonna do this. Uh, let's see. Okay, yeah. So if you got if you guys have not seen the panda controller here, here it is. Uh, here we go. Wait, what? Oh, there. Oh, uh, why? Why is it like that? There, there we go. All right, let's let's take a look at the panda control. Whoa, weird. Uh, the whole thing. There we go. There we go. So yeah, let's let's take a look at the panda controller. Surprise Nuzlocke. Maybe in the future. This is a GameCube controller. Developed 20 years ago for Nintendo GameCube. It is still a weapon of choice for many serious gamers around the world. Can you guys hear it? Can you guys hear it all right? Today the only GameCube controllers available are ones that have new interior parts. So players have to hunt down and get lucky to find a GameCube controller that has all the right parts. And that feels good to them, often paying more than maybe worth three hundred dollars. Oh, okay. Let me. Let me do this. For the best one. Can you guys hear it now? Other controllers like the DualShock or the Xbox controller have been updated. Can revised. you hear it now, or is it still not coming through? This one has never had a modern revision until today. Uh. It's quiet. Freak, why is it so quiet? It should it shouldn't be quiet. It should be literally maxed out. Today. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Hold, hold, hold on. Players hold on. have to hunt down and get lucky to find a game Can you guys hear it now? All or is it so quiet? And that feels good to them, often paying more than two or three hundred dollars for the best ones. Other controllers like the dual. How was that? Was that okay? That that, that that was good. Was it still too quiet? Okay. All right, sick. All right, we're this going back to the beginning. GameCube controller developed 20 years ago for the Nintendo GameCube. It is still the weapon of choice for many serious gamers around the world, especially those who play platform fighters. Today, the only GameCube controllers available are ones that have new inferior parts. So players have to hunt down and get lucky to find a GameCube controller that has all the right hmm. parts and that feels good to them, often paying more than two or three hundred dollars for the best ones. Other controllers like yeah, the I, or the Xbox controller have you know a fun, fun fact actually I just recently bought a controller uh it was supposed to have like a lot of good things in it uh it was like it was like actually like two hundred dollars and it's already actually starting to break uh like it's just it's it's literally doing things that don't work uh and so I'm trying to see if I can get my refund but he what he's saying is is true right now he's been facts updated revised over the years. Tragically, this one has never had a modern revision until today. Ooh. USB-C, let's go. Okay. <laughs> this, that's that's the like really good feature, the back buttons. Because it's Panda. Ah, oh, yes, full player Cody, of course. <laughs> they got hats. It's so mm -hmm. good. Okay, so yeah, uh, I don't want to. I don't think I want to watch like the the whole entire video. But that was that that was the panda controller. Uh, the panda controller is very 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 neat. Let's see if I can look up the. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. 
here we go. Yo, check, check, check this out. The Panda Controller Kickstarter, pledge goal of $1,000, already hit 1.2 mil. Literally 1.2 mil already. It's actually insane. With 9,740 backers, bro, that this this is gonna this is gonna be insane. Yo, we have we've already reached all oh oh there there are more stretch goals. <laughs> YouTube documentary on the history of the GameCube controller. Bonus the Crimson Blur will appear at a future event in a dunk tank filled with red jello. Okay. Oh, we're about to hit this one. All color packs include pro shell color variations. Oh, yeah. oh, we've already hit that one. My bad. A third color pack. Oh my god, bro. There's no, there's no way they can keep going with uh <laughs> with these stretch goals. Oh, one year repair warranty. That's pretty cool. Uh, partner with community artists for uh for limited edition shell lines. Oh, oh yeah. This this, this is this is gonna be insane. I want to see if we can hit the two mil mark. If we can hit the two mil mark, it'll be it'll be literally insane. So if you have not done so. And you really kind of want a new GameCube controller? Please, please back the Panda controller. I truly believe in this. And uh, I think, eat, like, with these stretch goals, too, I think it'll be worth your while. I really, really do. Honestly, it'll be it'll be truly, truly incredible. It will be. <laughs> that That is a lot of good bonuses. They got to be careful. Case artists can go terrible very quick. Ooh, I feel like... Panda has such good goodwill. It's it's good to give them this chance. It would be it would be pretty bad. I I think they've earned this chance from us to really like believe in them and to do this because they've they've only done nothing but good for the community. And yeah, I I can't see this going. The only thing that I can see going wrong is it's probably gonna get delayed. Like they say, December twenty twenty two. I'm I'm feeling like this controller is coming out twenty twenty three. Right, like. I feel like I feel like there's no shot this uh this controller comes out in 2020. Okay, I don't want to say there's no shot, but I think it's unlikely to. Clickbait thumbnails are so obnoxious, but they get clicks, and more clicks means money. Hey, you gotta respect the hustle, doc. You got gotta respect the hustle. <laughs> I'm sure there's some shortage somewhere that'll delay it. And yeah, it definitely will be, right? Definitely will. Little nervous about Kickstarter. The last uh, thing I backed was a game uh, that did not that that did turn but uh, that did turn out excellent. But it's like two extra years to come out with its early access and five extra years for it to come out. <laughs> but it did come out. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that that's like that's just like the thing about Kickstarter, right? Because you don't know you don't know exactly how things are gonna go when you're backing a Kickstarter. Thing. you just have to believe in them and uh i'm choosing i'm choosing to believe in them now if it all goes wrong hey you know that, that's my nine dollars that's gone and you know what that'll be kind of sad and pandas uh 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 like likeness or people won't really like panda all too much all their goodwill will be gone and hopefully that's not the case hopefully it don't turn into a, pro a cg product red uh like that <laughs> hopefully the last thing I backed, the dude took the money and ran. What did you back, Adam? Oh. What what did you, what was the last thing you backed? And Joseph G Joseph, what was the uh, what was the game that you backed? Last Life? What is Last Life? Distance, okay. What? Last life, uh, Kickstarter? Oh man, that was seven years ago? Sheesh! <laughs> oh man! Oh, the game you backed was Distance. Oh, it's a racing platformer? Wait, hold on a second, hold on a second, let's...
let us let it let us take a look at the distance distance trail yo this game kind of looks kind of looks hype I've, I've never i've never seen it before uh oh well oh no no i don't want to see a playthrough Okay, let's see. Uh, distance trailer. Let's see. Let's take a let's take a look at it. I'll I'll never forget. <laughs> Oop. Uh, window capture. Uh, where are you? Let's 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 take a look at this game because this game actually looks kind of kind of cool. Uh, here we go. Uh, it should be should be maxed out, so you guys should be able to hear it. If it's too loud, let me know. I've never heard of a racing platform before, so I'm I'm kind of interested. You know, I'm not like super into racing games that aren't Mario. Kart. Some views too okay oh yo that, that game actually looked pretty cool okay <laughs> looks like thumper what's thumper what is thumper let's see uh thumper let's see uh thumper trailer i I've, I've never actually heard of, of 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 any of these games actually all right let's see i uh, uh here we go oh it's a rhythm game wait what i do like rhythm games actually Fill me with existential dread. Okay. Oh, it's a it's a PSVR game. Thumper, yeah, yeah, yeah. Thumper. Wait, why? It's is it a scary game? <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, look, it's Majora. From Majora's Mask, or that's that's Majora's Mask. This game is kind of weird. Okay, all right, that was. Yo, thank you for the raid, Monkey Make Fire. Yo, I appreciate it. <laughs> Yo, thank you so much. Yo, thank you for the seven. Appreciate it, dog. Thank you, monkey raid. <laughs> I don't know what a monkey raid is. What is a monkey raid? Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. Okay. Yo, yo, that that, that game was, was kind of cool. <laughs> this video is sponsored by NordVP. Oh, no. Should your boyfriend play Grand Theft Auto? Needed more people to see the push-ups? Dog. 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 Yo, what's good? What's good? Panna, Geodis, and Brutal. Yo, welcome, people. Albino Wolf. Yo. So, we we monkey. <laughs> yeah, I have uh, I have autoplay, you know. I, I, I stay with autoplay. You know what it is. BDSP tier list? 
Bro, nobody nobody wants to see a BDSP tier list for somebody who hasn't played BDSP yet. I haven't played it yet. You, just, just give me just give me a few weeks, Howard. I'll probably beat it. Probably. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I i don't know oh yo thank you for the follow Joe. this brutal yo i appreciate it man thank you thank you i appreciate it uh what was i about to what was i about to do i was about to look i was about to look up something but i cannot remember exactly what it was uh oh well okay this stream is already going pretty great <laughs> Yo, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, you know, I try out here, you know. Uh right now I was just looking at um at different uh at different trailers. Yo, wait, where's the Oh I didn't put it on here? Aw oh, dang, I didn't I didn't put it on here. Yo, thank you for the follow, money make fire. Yo, appreciate you, dog. Is Fruity Pebbles good or bad seer? Oh, you know what? Actually, actually, you know what? Adam, put up the poll. Put, put up a poll. Oh wait, actually no, no, I have to put up the poll. Never mind. I'll put it up. So guys, hey, since I have since I have you guys in chat, I have something very important to ask. Are fruity pebbles good? Uh because some people in chat uh like to like to say that fruity pebbles are actually garbage tier. And uh I want to prove to them that uh they are honestly very, very good. What do you mean no? You, you can't say no, frame one. The poll hasn't even been up for more than 30 seconds. No degenerate unhealthy. Come on. Come on. Come on, people. Okay, guys. 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 I need you. I need you to look within your heart of heart. Look into your soul and realize that Fruity Pebbles are the greatest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. 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 Panel, let, let them know. I didn't I didn't ask you if it was unhealthy. All right. I said, is it good? All right, do you like it? Is this a cereal that you would eat in the morning? Okay, please. <laughs> Why? <laughs> How about, oh yeah, eight, so press one for yes, press two for no. But obviously you want to press one for yes. <laughs> if it doesn't clog your arteries from sugar, I don't want to eat it. Bro, bro, what, what's going on? What's going on? What What's happening? Oh, you know what? Hold on a second, hold on a second, hold on a second. Influencing the vote. Let's go. No, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. Guys, guys, you're you're hurting me. You're hurting me so. <laughs> you reverse psychology the whole chat. Did did I? Did, did he? Did Adam? Degenerate Cheerios in the back. Hey, hey. All right. First of all. These Cheerio, you see these Cheerios right here? These Cheerios right here, goaded god tier. If you guys haven't had these, all right, I'm telling you, they're actually so, so good. You know, I'm, I'm closing this poll. I'm closing this poll. I'm hiding it from the overlay. I can't believe you guys voted for this. Honestly, I'm, su I'm super duper disappointed in each and every single one of you. All of you. Especially, especially you incarcerated dreams. I got to be sponsored by Cheerios. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I do I do not have a sponsor by Cheerios. Um, maybe sometime in the future, though. You know, if we can if we can get a hashtag uh, sp uh Cheerio sponsor uh trending on Twitter, uh, that'd be great. Uh, I would love. <laughs> okay, okay. So the only reason that the Cheerios are here is because I have I have a mini fridge right here. <laughs> with two things of milk and you know i got the i got the bowl ready to go so you know what it is <laughs> that's the only reason the cheerios are right there <laughs> no the minute <laughs> yeah you know what you know yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. exactly exactly <laughs> the cinnamon cereal sponsor incoming god <laughs> Hey, all right, it will be, hey, hey, I, yo, fo follow, yo, fo follow me on Twitter, guys. I, uh, Twitter? Uh, does, does it pop up? It should. Oh, I, where is my, 
well, whatever. Follow me on Twitter at cp 9 neji <laughs> uh, and we will uh, we will get Cheerios to sponsor me because honestly that would actually be pretty hype. Uh, having uh, having a very healthy and very reputable brand sponsor the stream. I would have a banner right on the top that says uh, that says Cheerios, the cinnamon crunch Cheerios. Wouldn't that wouldn't that look good? <laughs> oh, was the background music loud? I can I I, I can turn it down. How's that? The, the back of music should be just, just below my voice. Oh! Oops. <laughs> my bad. Okay, how, okay, how about that? That, that, sh that should be good now. I don't know why it was a... It's... I don't know why my, um... My music is coming out of, like, a different, uh... Or what you call it? It was coming out of a different um, audio source. I don't know why it was coming out of Chrome. That was weird. But we're good now. Thank, thank you guys for letting me know. I didn't realize it was that loud. Uh, yes, there is supposed to be music still. It, can you not hear it? <laughs> he was putting us for. You know what? Honestly, honestly, I was punishing you guys. All right, because how could you guys really say about about fruity pebbles? I, I honestly, I honestly can't, can't believe you guys would say something so disrespectful. Do we have a slot for another emote? No, we don't have another slot for another emote now. Well, actually, it's been a while since I checked, but I don't, I don't think we do. Let me see. Let, let me, let me check it out. Emotes. Oh, wait, we do. Wait, we do have another, we have a slot. We do. Yo, are we... <laughs> <laughs> Yo, are we gonna have? Oh no 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 no! Okay, okay, all right, all right. Let, let, let's think about this. Do you want to have CP9 Boomer or CP9 Cheerios? Hmm. <laughs> make sure make sure you like and follow. Yo, at Monkey Fire. Also, yo, I got you, dog. You know what? You know, what? Hold, hold on a second. I I I got you. Oh no, the the, the chat's moving. I, I got you, bruh. I got you. Yo, I'm about to control C, control V that mug. Just, just for you. I, I actually don't even know how to like work Twitter. So, uh, sorry. Sorry if I have no idea what's going on. Uh, I think at monkey make fire. Yeah, I think, I think I got you. Uh, okay. I should I should have followed you. If not, oh, 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 j just switch to Discord. Okay, don't. I still got you, dog. Don't don't even worry. <laughs> okay, all right. See, all right, fine, fine. We'll we'll do CP9 Boomer. That'll be the next one. If so, yo. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> I'm so tired of you, Howard. I'm so tired of you. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, all right, hey, hey, and Carter Dreams and Para, don't follow, don't follow the way that that uh Quacky has put out. All right, he may seem like a, I'm a boomer. No, no, not you too, incarcerated. Not you too. I promise, I'm not a boomer. I promise. I promise, guys. <laughs> Why? All right, all right, Adam. Are you gonna make the? Are you gonna make the? Uh, are you gonna make the emo, uh, Adam, or shall I let Howard make it? You know what, Howard? You you said it so much. Are you gonna make me the emo? Are you gonna do it, please? Please, I want you to make it. One sentence. They call you. <laughs> they call you six with Siri. You eat. Next sentence. You are a boomer. You know, it's actually kind of crazy because Fruity Pebbles are for kids, but uh, but Boomer because I don't know how to actually work things. So it's like a weird dichotomy, you know? We'll probably have to commission Andrew for it. Maybe. I didn't know. I didn't know Andrew did stuff. Does Andrew do stuff like that? I, I didn't even know he did commission stuff like that. I know he does do drawing stuff, which is hilarious. <laughs> Make an email for Cheerios. <laughs> That that's what I want. But CP9 Boomer is kind of it's kind of iconic. 
I guess. <laughs> Cheerios emote. The Cheerios gotta come in. Uh, Cheerios gotta come in first for that one. The checks gotta come in first for that one. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's true. Uh, you know what? The next, the next emote. If for whatever reason Cheerios is still a thing in this stream, <laughs> we will make a Cheerios emote, or at least something alluding to Cheerios. I don't know if DMCA. I don't. Can you get DMCA'd for a for an emote? Is that something that can happen? You can't just give them a free uh, emote uh, emote slot. But if it's an integral part to the stream, like if it's become part of my brand, then it only works out in my favor, right? But you know, honestly, I'll see. I'll see if I can extort Cheerios for that slot, though. You know, you're right. <laughs> That's how you lure them in. Gesture of goodwill. Facts. You know what? Yo, and Cartwright, yo, you're making some good points, dog. You're making some good points. Maybe I should make you my marketing specialist. Hey, you know, if, if you want, uh, the job pays literally nothing right now, but in maybe two to three years, you might get $200 a month. Think about it. <laughs> Think about it, you know, it, it, might, it might be good someday. Hey, you know, you know how it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. So... Uh, you know what? While, 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 we're, while we're all here, uh, I would like I would like to make a slight announcement. Uh, I think got DMCA once when it used to be a photo, and to get around they had. Oh, you're right! I do think I remember that. I do think I remember that. Oh yeah. So I guess it can, because I guess it's art, right? Violation of Twitch brand assets guidelines. Oh, okay. All right, that's a good point. So maybe I'll have to draw a box of Cheerios and then I can use that as an emote. <laughs> maybe, maybe, the, maybe that'll work out. <laughs> oh, but yeah. So let me, um, I will say this. Uh, as you guys have known, or as some of you have, have known, I have been streaming for almost a year at this point. It has been, I started streaming, my first stream date was apparently December 13th. That was my very first day that I streamed. And back then we were streaming Pokemon Platinum Nuzlocke on my very bad computer. Back when I only had one monitor, uh, the stream orientation was a little bit different too. Or just, just like ever so slightly. But my one year of streaming is coming up next week. It's actually going to be on a Monday, December 13th. So, the announcement is I will now be streaming on Mondays. Not, start, not this Monday, but starting that next Monday. So, my new stream days will be Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday now. So, hey, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool for one year for streaming. Uh, honestly, I really didn't think I'd be able to just do it as consistently as I have. I definitely thought I'd be streaming, but definitely not as long or as consistent. Because I think I hit pretty much every single week that I haven't like had to like you know leave and go back to like you know home in Oklahoma or whatever like that. But I've been I've been pretty pretty consistent. I've been pretty consistent. That's that's honestly pretty cool. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, what you guys saying here? Uh, he gonna have to hire you as his free attorney next? Hey, I'm always hiring for attorneys, you know, so I can get around these pesky copyright laws, you know. <laughs> Took around six law classes as a social worker. Oh, really? If that's actually true, that's actually really cool. <laughs> I'm definitely coming back for the stream. Hey, yo, thank you. I'd love to have you back. Do you stream earlier on any days? Uh, So I'm actually thinking about, like, Messing around with some time slots. Uh, if I do stream earlier, it would be on Sundays. Uh, the other days, because I stream right after work. So I stream at 7 on those days. But Sunday would, would is possibly going to be like an earlier stream day. Um, but So right now, my stream days are Sunday, 5 p.m. And soon to be Monday at 7 and then Tuesday at 7. Uh, all streams are two hours unless I'm really feeling it and I stream more. Um, 
But yeah. <laughs> I'm from Greece, so it's 1.35 a.m. here now. Not bad, but not great. Well, it looks like you're a degenerate right now, so... Hey, I know you'll be up, dog. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. But yeah, uh, I but I have been thinking about doing at least one earlier time slot for people because I know, I know there are some people that would prefer that. So... That's always super cool. <laughs> if I if I catch the stream at start, hey, you know what? Uh, let's see. Yo, come follow come follow my disc. Uh, come check out my Discord. Um, I always post my alerts there when I'm when I'm going live or whatever. So I always I always hit at everyone. So every day that I stream, so that means there will be at least three at everyone's a week. <laughs> and so I know most of you will turn that off, but that's okay. I understand. <laughs> that's okay though. <laughs> oh, you're already in? Oh, yo, sick. Yeah, I will see you in, in the Discord. <laughs> uh, yo, yo, oh, yo, you're gonna head off. Yo, peace out, monkey fire. Yo, I followed you on Twitch. I'm, I made sure to hit that follow button for you. <laughs> thank you, thank you for for uh, for showing up. I really appreciate. It. Yo, it was super cool having you here. <laughs> Later. <laughs> hey. Yo, uh, yo, yo, I'll have to, I'll have to catch, yo, Monkey Fire, yo, when do you, uh, when do you stream? I don't know if you have, a, uh, I mean, I guess I'll see if you have some stuff so I can find out where, oh, I guess stream 12 to 2 <laughs> on some days. I'll see if I can, uh, I'll see if I can catch some of your streams. Yo, th thanks for showing up, though. I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, man, yo, you, you, you guys are great. Yo, I, yo, you guys are, you guys bring so much good energy to the stream. <laughs> I appreciate it. She makes a schedule every week. So it's like uh I guess I guess it's different times every every week. Okay. And has stream themes or community days. Stream themes. What do you mean by stream themes? Like uh I guess different things that happen during the stream. Oh, conversational stream usually. Okay, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. I'll I'll have to tune in. I'll have to see uh when uh uh when her streams are. Yeah, yeah, that that'll be uh that'll be super duper cool, super fun. <laughs> you guys all seem great over yo. If, if this is our community, you guys are, you guys are a one, yo. <laughs> Today's theme was what's the worst betrayal you experienced? Oh, that's actually that's actually a great topic. Yo, the so if we're talking about the worst betrayal, do you mean like? Any but so like, can you experience that? Can you experience a great betrayal in a game? Because like when I think of betrayal, I think of like gaming, not like IRL. Honestly, the great, the greatest betrayal IRL. <laughs> oh God, that's rough. But you know, if I, if I had to do something like that, I'd probably do it gaming. Like what's the greatest betrayal you like just experienced in game that you just didn't think would happen? Yo, yeah, yeah, they, they, they seem great. We did one on drug use, our paranormal experiences, lots of uh, could, but we conversed about I IRL betrayal. <laughs> you know, IRL betrayal, yo, that's kind of, that's kind of rough to be honest, right? <laughs> Mine was my ex uh, cheating on me and we confronted with it, thrashed my apartment. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh. That's so. That sounds so bad. Oh, dog. Oh man, that that is. I feel that. I feel that. And I have to wait for the cop on to destroying everything. Well, I'm glad you're out of that situation, <laughs> and nothing like that is happening to you now. Oh my god, that's that's horrible. Jeez, that is rough. Uh. But yeah, that's those are those are some good those are some good topics, man. Yo, am I gonna am I gonna do a Ludwig and pull a Yoink and twist? Hmm, maybe something like that. Maybe with a twist. Cause that that's actually a really good idea. Yo, inspired by Monkey Make Fire. Hmm. Okay. Still recovering, but life goes on. Yo, you'll make it through. Yo, and, I mean, it's not it's not like you're a dope you're a dope person in general. So I know you'll make it through, especially when you're in great communities like Monkey Make Fire or hey, you know, you, you join the CP9 Neji Squad. You're another great community. We're, we're glad to have you here. <laughs> Lesson learned. Never confront cheaters in your own apartment. Yes, as a matter of fact, that, hmm, well, it might be hard to not do it there because I guess where else would you do it? 
especially if you don't want to be like a public thing. In which case, it could be worse. Maybe the apartment is the best place. I don't know. <laughs> Learn from my mistakes. <laughs> it's it take it takes a lot to learn from mistakes because you have to make you have to ex make the mistake first, acknowledge it, and so you can actually move on from it. Like it, it's it's hard. Do it where lots where there are lots of cameras. Hmm. Where would lots of cameras be? Like like if you if you were to, if you were to do something like this. Where would you want, where, where would be the most optimal place <laughs> to confront somebody, right? If you don't do it at your own, like, place. Oh, <laughs> okay, so, <laughs> on a picture, you're like, hey, hey, babe, hey, yeah, uh, let's, let's go to the bank. Uh, I need to, uh, I need to pick up some cash uh, and make a deposit and stuff like that. So you drive there, it's just rushing in your head. You're you're really you're really going through it, and then you you get in the bank, you're in line, and then you slowly turn around to to your significant other, like, hey, uh, so I saw you cheating on me. Whoa, what, what what kind of what is going to pop off in that moment? All the cameras there, but you just told somebody in a bank, <laughs> hey, I know you cheated on me. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and resolve this now. How is how is that working? <laughs> <laughs> like that is that's not like a horrible situation. <laughs> well, since she didn't uh have any signs of physical trauma, they didn't uh, believe her story that okay good. Very, very good. Oh god, that that that's so that's so heavy. But I didn't get any payment for my stuff. Whack. Absolutely unfortunate. But you're still good for now. Or I want to say for now, like you're going to be good always, hopefully. But you are good now is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> not, I'm not trying to say like, oh, man, yeah, you're good. But only for now. <laughs> Go to a sports game and do it all. <laughs> Go to a sports game and do it on the, dump, the jumbo truck. Oh, wow. Look at this beautiful couple in the back. Oh, I bet they're going to share their first kiss as you lean in to say, Hey, I know you cheated on me. Uh, let's talk about it. <laughs> the jumbo truck can't pick you up saying that, but she just, she just explodes. And what, what do you do? What do you do with that? You start arguing while the people immediately around you are like, <laughs> they're just freaking out. It's just a crazy story. <laughs> Oh, peace chat. Yo, have a good night in Carter Dreams. Yo, I'm glad to have you in the chat. Yo, super cool to have you here. Uh, as I said, I'm going to be back on Tuesday. Uh, yeah, Tuesday this week at 7. So, hey, pull up if you can. Join the Discord if you haven't, but I think you have. Later. <laughs> good night. Okay. All right, yo. That was actually that was actually super duper fun. So, I have about, I have about a few minutes left of streaming. You know what? I kind of want, I kind of want to start a new game while I'm here, you know, just like, just start off, because I have not, I haven't played it, and the game I'm talking about, oh wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, gotta, gotta pull it up, gotta open it up, where is it, here we go, uh, that game is, Bug Fables, <laughs> Bug Fables, so, if you know anything about me, you know I love Paper Mario. The Thousand Year Door and the original. And I really also like Super Paper Mario. And so with that being said, Thousand Year Door is one of my favorite games of all time. Top two favorite game of all time. Literally top two. Up there with Project M. They are literally tied for first. And so this game, Bug Fables, it really peaks my fancy oh, i've seen paper mario streamed on twitch it i i have seen it and it's very fun even to this day watching it it makes me feel good and you know since i love those games so much i think it's time for me to give this game bug fables a try and this is my next stream game bug fables this is the game that i'll be playing for the next few weeks and honestly i think i'll love every second of it i don't have a challenge for this one like all the other games 
I just think it'll be good. <laughs> uh, what a what a two favorite games you have. Two games that don't get recognized whatsoever by their own franchise. <laughs> I know, Adam. I know. <laughs> Bro, are you sponsored? Timmy, you are like the third person, the third and fourth person I'm here to say, are you sponsored by Cheerios? But as Panna says, not yet. <laughs> I just love these Cheerios, okay? And I have I have I have the mini fridge right here with the milk and stuff already in there. So like I just have it so I can have my access to cereal with my bowl. You know, got 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 gotta do it all, of course. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, this this brings back so 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 many men. Whoa. What in the world? Okay, this this game does not like control control stick, so I have to use or not use the D-pad, so I have to use control stick. Okay, you know what? We gotta name ourselves CP9 Neji. You got you got you guys know what it is. All right, <laughs> it's <laughs> it's free real estate, I guess. Didn't get no. I'm not sponsored by Cheerios. I said not yet. <laughs> I think you'll really like this game. Where does CP9 come from? CP9 is a reference to uh, One Piece. It is the name of the uh, organization that's like in the Water Seven arc. Uh, yeah, I I love 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 One Piece. Me and my wife are watching it right now. And I got her. I got her in there. She's hooked. I hooked on it. She loves it. <laughs> a peaceful, prosperous place. Many adventures bug gap. Although it wasn't always that way. And yes, Adam, I really think I'll love this game, honestly. Lured by the promise of riches and lush fields, a young queen visited these lands many moons. A young queen visited. She established bug areas. Modest first settlement. Oh, okay. I didn't want to assume it. Yes, he is. Yes, he is, Pana. Yes, he is. I uh, yes, I I definitely I definitely think that organization is very very notable. <laughs> and yet the Queen's dream still had not been fulfilled. I'm trying not to spoil it. My my wife doesn't know anything about it. Shh. Or she had an eight. Uh, I wonder, I wonder if you can like do the thing where you like go back. Oh what? Oh no! I press circle. Whoops. Okay. The everlasting sampling of Pratchful Dragat's un unending youth and strength to any who ate even one of its leaves. She searched and searched her and she never found it. She entrusted her dream to the princess before falling into a hard earned sleep. Okay. Oh, also, uh, can you guys hear the uh you guys hear the hear the audio fine? No, the uh, audio is good, right? Opening the doors of the kingdom to the bu to bugs of all uh no really nothing's coming through uh i didn't i don't think there was audio right now okay so pound said the audio was good uh tougher said the audio is bad i okay so i i just changed one thing uh, can you hear the can you hear the audio now or does the audio still sound good or did I just cut it off? Yay, nay. Good, still good? Nah. Because I, I did just change something. Now it's off. Okay. Alright. Then let's 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 do this then. Okay. Okay, all right, all right, now, now, now it's good. All right, is it too loud or is it, is it like, is it just right? Her decree was loud and clear. Find me the everlasting sapling you should know wealth like no other bug ever has. Oh, so we're explorers, okay. All right, perfect, it's just right. That, that, that's what I like to, that's what I like to hear. With this, the Explorers Association was founded with its many members searching. Okay, perfect. Oh, so we're like we're like explorers. 
Even though to this day the sapling has not been found, but every day bug dreams uh, of one day claiming it. Uh, but every bug dreams of one day claiming it for themselves. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Every every bug dreams of claiming it for themselves. Of course. TTYD lover plays bug ta bug tables for the first time. I love that title. Your your Adam, your titles always hit. Or at least those are the toys I was stolen in my list. Oh, it looks so good. Despite many unfortunate events, tales of your people helped me keep my adventuring spirit alive. Rest assured, Kabu. They're they are not mere legends, but real story. This Explorer Association, all the explorers who risked their wings for glory are proof of that. Oh, okay, okay, so so we can talk. We are not a silent protagonist. And sorry, Mark, would you consider my earlier offer? I respect your passion, but I take missions of the highest danger. An unproven warrior is not fit to accompany my team. Bro, chill out. Yo! What's good? Oh, yo, good night. Good night, Pana. Yo, well, thank you for chilling in the chat, yo. I appreciate it. I hope to see you come back. You were great. And uh, yeah, yeah, yo, feel free to pop in whenever. I'll be streaming on Tuesday. Have a good night. <laughs> and yo, what's good, Greg? How are you doing? What's good, dog? I beat Demon Souls. And I remember, I remembered your words. You kept me going, Greg. Remember that. <laughs> Unproven, Maki. I bested many hardships in the north. Or you, or so you say. Your knowledge of our culture and your passion for exploring are as true as my blade's edge, Kabu. What? But I would ask you not to press the issue. This is not a place to cause a scene. What? Can I say it again? Oh, yo, chill. Yeah, Greg. Uh, yeah, Demon Souls, very fun. As I said, uh, we cannot allow children to explore, much less uh, Snake Mountain. Uh, okay, uh, real quick, be right back. I'm going to use restroom real quick. Hold on, hold that thought. I'm back. <laughs> As I said, we cannot allow children to explore. Oh, okay. All right. Yo, was that me? Our first adventurer? Our first party member? Okay. So much for that. Would you mind a company combo? It is my duty to investigate. Interesting. 
<laughs> well, if you insist. <laughs> okay, use up, down, left, and right to move around. Press A to jump or talk to people. Oh, we can jump? Wait, what? Oh, if I if if I hold A, it it it, it auto attacks. I feel like there's something wrong with with these controls a little bit. But that's that's okay. I'll I'll, I'll see if I can fix that. Oh, uh, B does not work. Why does B not work? I'm gonna have to fix some of these controls, honestly. Edel B, lower your voices. What is the matter? This guy's calling me a kid, says I can't explore. Shouting isn't going to change the rules, you child. <laughs> Bro, why are you just so angry? The best explorer the hive has ever seen. I'm not some random bee. An explorer bee? Yeah, I got a problem saying bees can't be explored. Ex expected honey and paint. You know what? Honestly, I hope this bee gets absolutely destroyed. I hope somebody steps on this bee, honestly. Uh, as a matter of fact, I don't just hope he gets stepped on. I hope this whole hive gets burned. Uh, I th I think I think all bees are pretty bad. Yeah, 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 yeah. I said it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, what what's up? What's up? Look, I can't just give a permit to some bee, much less without a partner. Teams should be a duo of explorers, you know. I'm more like four bees. Okay. <laughs> hey V, what do you want? Why don't we join forces? We both wish for a permit, yet ye lack a companion. What? Do I look that desperate? I don't even... Oh. Okay. All right. I have a promise I must keep, and for that, I must explore. How bad could it be? Well, it can't be worse than having to stay put. Deal. Oh, wait. You two are just crazy. You won't last a second at stake now. Yo. Watch us. Yo, we about to pull up. What's good? What? 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 We're novices. Bro, we're goats. What do you mean? Sir Maki, although you outrank me in spades, you shouldn't underestimate me. I went, I went through quite a bit to get here. Yeah, bugs like you that look down on others are really annoying. Very well, I should test your result. Oh, oh yes, CP9 projecting? Nah, nah, the queen and herself, of course she has 90 me as her royal blade. I shall accept, I shall accept your challenge. All right, let's see, is music good? Okay. Uh, yeah, because I definitely don't know how to play the game. We can both perform one action per round, be it attacking using an item ETC. We can power up our attacks by performing commands unique, uh, unique to each move. Watch this. Okay. If you hold down long enough, I can power up my horn strike. Oh, okay. Holding a button lane. Look, look at this. If I press A at the right time, I can power up my boomerang. Okay. Don't let your guard down, V. After I turn in, the enemy's turns next. Uh. Hmm? A? Wait, what? Wait, is that A? Wait, what? Okay, so wait, so A is the... Oh! Okay. Skills require us to use our team points. <laughs> TP. <laughs> Although, so watch out for how many we have left. Uh, we should patch your wounds to... Uh... Oh. Okay. Oh, okay. So, so I can use an item and then still attack? Oh, with the other person. Okay, cool, cool, cool. What are you playing this on? I'm playing this on a PS5 controller. It should. I mean, it, it should be fine. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. It, it, it is fine. Ooh, tornado toss? Oh. <laughs> I messed that whole thing up. Okay, so I, I I guess taunt means that uh that all all enemies will will attack me. Oh, oh, it's because I messed up. Okay. No, no, I'm not. 
such skill with the blade. Oh, cool, we passed. I'm I'm no one to keep you from your explorer permit. That's how you may grant ill you may grant it to them. But Ma Bamaki is the queen's blade. Here, you can have it. Oh, okay, cool. All right, we got our explorer's permit. <laughs> treasure huh <laughs> i i love i love this like to have like the like the extra um the extra words like when somebody says something small or whatever i love that in paper mario seriously brother how long are you were you going to keep me waiting my apologies kino v Kabu, i must be going now as you can see duty calls me uh may you succeed in your mission all right dope So, uh, I'm V, I guess, from the hive near the big tree. What? I just... Oh. I thought he said you from the moon? I was like, yo, what? <laughs> that would have been, uh... That, that would have been kind of wild, to be honest. Okay. Dang, dang. You know what goal of the... Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so we have started our adventure a dysfunctional trio even there are only two of us so far i like that that was nice you can check uh you can check your in inventory stats something by pressing pause okay Oh, it's so cute! It's so good! Okay, how do... How do we save? That's weird. Oh god. <laughs> oh god, what what is what is going on? You better have been. Let's just go, Kabu. Okay. Oh, okay. Wait, how wait, how, how, how do I save? Does the does the game auto save? Or does it um or is there or is there something else that happens? I guess, the, I guess this is a save thing. Just tell us why I forgive my partner. Uh... You recover, uh... They stole the... Okay, yeah, if you smack them with something. Okay. They will even heal you... Okay, great. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Save complete. Yo, uh, all you'll get for this crystal is prison time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Still, their properties are amazing. Let's use them when we can. Okay. All right, that, that's 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 super duper cool. All right. I can't I can't wait to play this game more. I'm excited. I'm excited. Going to the setting again. I think you said nope. That was. Uh, all right. I can't. I can't close it. Actually, there we go. Okay. All right. That is pretty exciting. I'm very excited to uh, to play more of that game. Uh, I think I'll be a. I think I'll be a pretty fun game in general. Uh, also, um. Because we'll be streaming on Saturday, on Sundays, Mondays, and Tuesdays starting next week. Hmm, we might, I might have to add some kind of day in there for, you know, something for us to do. Since we now have more time. If you guys have any ideas on what we could do, like, 
during like since we have an extra day now maybe we do something different yo put it in the discord i would love to hear the ideas i think uh i want to expand more with more things like what they said with uh with monkey monkey make fire uh that, that, that was a cool concept i kind of like that i kind of like that maybe i'll do the, the good old yoink and twist and do something cool bdsp on tuesday or cp9 coward what about bdsp on on monday or tuesday mm. You know, I think I'll make I think I'll make Monday my Pokemon day. How, how, how about that, Howard? Monday BDSP. That, that good for you? That good for you? Cause Tuesday, I want to play this game. I'm gonna play this game <laughs> regardless. Um, but yeah, with that, I will say good night, everybody. Thank you for showing up. I super duper appreciate it. You guys are super duper awesome, and I really had a fun time. Uh, Adam's gonna get right to work on that fourth emote. I'm just playing. You, you don't have to. You don't have to do something on that emote or whatever. Uh, yes, yes, seven will be on Mondays too. I'm gonna add that to the uh, the stream layout. Yep, seven, because that's the only time I can do it since I work. <laughs> but yes, good night, good night, everybody. I will see you all on what's today Sunday. I'll see you guys on Tuesday this week. Uh, yeah, and with that, later. Good night, guys. How do I end the stream? Oh, like this. <laughs>